Hey guys, welcome to 3D HP. I just wanted to do another video here and kind of get you caught up on what I've been working on for the last three or four months. So I got quite a few models sitting here on the desk and on the Hypercube, which is 400 by 400 by 500, I'm printing a USS Enterprise I've got off a of game body here a couple weeks ago. I don't know, about a week ago. Anyway, it's printed at 250% scale. Here's the top half of the saucer section right here. I printed it in black PETG, which, which strings quite a bit, and it's a little harder to work with as far as for print quality. But, you know, with the way this virus is going on, everybody's out of stock and everything, I gotta use what I got. And I got, you know, a big five uh, kilogram spool there, so I'm burning through it, printing Enterprise. I've got this primer gray, and I've done a little sanding on it. It needs a lot more work. And I'm printing the bottom half there now. And some other models I gotta show you from Megs. I've got Dr. Manhattan right here. Let's see. He was resin printed on my Elegoo Mars. And of course he was printed in pieces. And from the waist to the feet was too tall for my, for my Elegoo Mars. So I went into NetFab and I cut his feet off right here. That way I printed the different sections and I glued it back on. And as you can see the joint there, I still got to putty it and sand it. But he came out really cool. It's really nice detail. came out really nice. He's been sanded. He's all ready for primer. I got a few places to touch up sand and he'll be good to go to primer and start painting. And here's a base for him right here. This is printed in PLA on one of my CR10s. There's, uh, let's see, two pieces here, two or three pieces. They come out real good. And then another one by Megs is uh, Morbius. I've got him hot glued to the base for the picture of take, for taking pictures. Once I go to painting, I'll just pop off the hot glue and I can start painting them. But if you've been watching my videos, you know that I print more than I paint and eventually I'll paint him. I'm not sure when, but I get busy doing different things and think a lot of things I want to get done doesn't happen. That came out really good. I'll put a link in the description to uh, all the different designers here that I'm going to be talking about so you can go check them out on Patreon or their page or Gambody, wherever they're at. Let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, from fab365.net, we have a uh, R2-D2. This prints out in one piece, and you simply fold it together and snap it together. To keep a few of the parts together, I went ahead and super glued them to make sure they don't come off, but it all prints out in one piece. Well, actually, there might be a couple pieces here that snap on the legs, but most of it lays flat, prints out, and you just snap it together. That came out real nice. And then here's a... Uh, Baby Yoda I did quite a while back. I got a Thingiverse. It's all painted up and done. Little dude. And for my doctor, as a joke for my surgeon, I gave her a stool sample. Printed out a little stool and walked in. So here, you want a stool sample? So she thought it was pretty funny. I made her a couple of them. She can give one to her and her other doctor. And then here's something everybody needs. Never forget 2020, a little toilet paper roll I got off Thingiverse. Printed that out of my CR10. I printed out like six to eight of them to give out family and friends. Then from David Chambers, got a Tigger sitting on a log. It's like one of his whiskers I have to glue back on. That came out really nice. My wife's been waiting on me to paint her stuff for quite a while and I'll eventually get around to it, I guess. Then here's a couple cubes that I did, my test prints on the Hypercube. One came out better than another. And a few things to fix, but they, everybody has to print a couple cubes or a benchy, so I did some cubes. And Chaos Cortec, he designed and I bought a Godzilla from him. Printed that out in PLA, all in one piece. And if I remember correctly, no supports. Yeah, no supports. Came out really good. That's uh, printed, and I believe it's Ziltec Blue PLA. He has about 5% infill, infill. My layers on most of my stuff I print is 644, with usually 4 or 5% infill. When I printed all my parts for my uh, MPC and C, there are 644, my normal settings, and then the infill is 50 to 55% infill, uh, which they recommend on V1 Engineering, you know, their infill settings. And then from Fragnets, we have Bizarro. Here's a cape, great big cape. 
Pizarro came out real good. He needs to be putty a little bit here and there and touched up before I can prime him. I forget how big I made that. It might be 150% scale. I don't remember. But that's very well done. And then from... I'm going to butcher his name. Davidy Barba. I believe. I'll put a... I'll put it on the screen there, his name. But I did a Rambo. This is for a friend wanted me to print and paint it. Came out real nice. Sylvester Stallone from Rambo. This is at 150% here. He's all resin printed. The base is FDM. His arms uh, printed, his chest, his head, waist, boots, gun. One arm has half of the machine gun in it, another half uh, you print separately. And from Sanix, we've got a Spider-Man here. He's been resin printed. The base is done in FDM. This had two versions. It had one version where you can print the head with the mask off, and he's holding the mask in his hand. And I went ahead and glued it up like this. But it comes with either option. You can make it either way you want. I also have a diorama by Sanix. I believe it's called the Sinister Six. And it's got all the characters. They're all printed out. They're all resin printed. Except for the base. Let's see. Big box of goodies here. I've never listed these pictures online. Because I've never put it together. I have to uh, clean everything up. Can't find the word set nothing. Here's a picture of what it looks like. This is from Sanix. Lots of characters. There's a little support damage here and there from the resin printer. The supports that have to be sanded off. Little dents here and little nipples here and there, or whatever you call them. Little bumps that got to be sanded off. A lot of work. But there's a lot of characters in here. There's six of them. Vulture, I think his name is. Here's one of the wings. That was printed in FDM. That was too big for the El Mars. And Dr. Octopus, I believe his name is. There's one of the, That was uh, FDM printed also because of its size. But, lots of goodies in the box. So, one of these days, I don't know when it's going to happen, you'll see that painted and posted. Let's see. And then from 3D Model Crowdfund, from Tony Chambers, I have a smaller version of the video I've already done on uh, Spawn. Here's a smaller version, 150%. I've already got the base painted, but i got to paint the monster, work on Spawn. And then here's his cape right here, which basically sits like that, if you can see it. And then his sword. I was going to print one of these swords really big for my son on my Ender XL, and uh, I never did get the file without the hand. I was going to print the sword, but it never happened. And then his sword basically will go in his... Once I glue, it'll go in there. It stabs down the monster and all goes together. Um, once you assemble this, you would take the sword, press it in the crack where he stabbed, and then press the left foot on at the same time, then it holds itself in place. But I don't want to do that yet. I have to paint it first. But it came out really nice. And the Hypercube, uh, I've got it up and working. It's, it seems to be working really good. It's stringing real bad with PETG. Other than that, it's been running day after day after day. Each one of these pieces on the Star Trek model at 250%, it's taken four or five days to print it. I have not cranked the speed way up, up real fast on it. It's printing at 50 or 60 millimeters a second. I haven't tried to crank it up real high because then I've got to reconfigure the feed rate and, you know, quite a few things to refigure for the acceleration so I've just left it alone I got it printing good the way it is um, 
I have some lights for it. Uh, Big Tree Tech on eBay, I ordered these little tiny uh, adapter boards. I can't think of what they're called offhand, but they plug into the motherboard so that when you pull power for LEDs, you don't fry your motherboard. It's to give it more power. They're only $4 a piece out of China. It took two months to get them, so I ordered two of them off of eBay. They came a few days ago, so here in the near future, I'll be putting lights on the inside edge and then when it heats up it'll be one color when it's printing it'll be one color and when it's shut off it'll be one color something to that effect i just haven't got around to doing it yet and then i haven't put the handles on it yet i got these are petg handles say evo on it for evolution they go on top of the printer so if you ever go to move it you can carry it by the handles or the frame or just use it for you know make it look better add more weight to it more bells and whistles i guess you'd say and also from David Chambers, here I've got the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Got to do a little sanding work on. I printed that in this orientation up. And as you can see, I got some support damage on the back and a lot of sanding to do on it to dress it up. It's a mystery machine. Uh, one of the, When I was taking off the supports, I broke off one of the mirrors. I've got that in another room. I've just got to put a little piece of PLA on it and then put the mirror back on. But it needs some sanding work. That's by David Chambers also. He's been coming out with a lot of really cool models lately. But, I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, like I said, i got lots of things laying around. Uh, I'm sure there's more I have to show you that I've printed and set on the shelf. Uh, I don't know what to show you, though. And here's a couple more that I just found on the shelf. From 3D Model Crowdfund, here's uh, Mandalorian. When I painted the base on this, I tried a few different colors, and I finally wound up going to Hobby Lobby, and I bought some sand. So I painted the base with glue, and I put uh, sand over the base. And that came out real good. I printed out quite a few different pictures of the Mandalorian, and they're, all the outfits were different, different types of gear on, so I just tried to, you know, do a mod podge of different uh, outfits. Kind of like the Berserker, but anyway, it's it's not exact, but came out real good. And I believe I did that at like 150% scale. Most of the stuff I print, I print at 150%. And then by David Chambers, I got a Scrooge McDuck. I don't remember the scale on that. That might be at 100%. I don't remember. I, I've got too many things printing all the time. Yosemite Sam. So... And I believe that's all that I can find at the moment. Like I say, I've got hundreds of models laying around printed on the shelf in the spare room and boxes. i got stuff everywhere. And, um, you know, then things I haven't printed and given away. I'm just trying to figure, find some stuff to show you. Just a little bit of this and that. I haven't been doing much printing lately. Like I said, I've been working on the CNC uh, printer, doing yard work and just, you know, different things. My air conditioner has been broke down for going on three weeks now, so it gets pretty warm in the house. Hopefully in the next week or two I'll be able to get that fixed, so that'll be nice. It's living here in Nevada, it gets pretty warm. So anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. I hope you liked the video. Like some of the stuff here. Check out some of these designers, you know. Uh, go check out their models, buy some models from them, print them, paint them, and show them off on the net and uh, help them out. So thanks everybody. Take care. Have a good day.